Do your cookies? Do I want well, what kind of they? Chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft? Can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Edibles? Oh my God, it could be edibles. Oh, I don't know. Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. Can you guys feel my jokes? <laughs> You're my fucking nightmare, bro. It is very good. Where are you from? Crumble? Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Now, who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with crumble? No. Why not? Because they crumble and I heard they don't Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does. Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray even once. Do you have the cutter with you? With the crumble. There's like there's a cutter a cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity <laughs> with this bakery. Anybody else see this picture moving? <laughs> and this shit really kicked him, but I freaked the fuck out, bro. Anybody gay? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, I can't see your haircut in the dark, but yeah. Oh, yeah. How long have you been uh, lesbian? <laughs> Biologically, what were you born? Female. Oh, I appreciate shit. What's your, what's your name? Carl. Axel by Axel. Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, the gangster ass name. How'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Axel, my best friend. You let your best friend pick your name? Oh my god, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, your name, Baby Dick. From here on out. <laughs> you chose the name. How'd you how did you land on Axel? Carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> now you go like a transmission. But that's a Actually, you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some. We should go get some bitches after this. Actually. Let's go. I got a 14 year ago, so I'm down. Who, uh, who, who are you married to? Male, female? Uh, another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um, same situation biologically. Okay, gotcha. Why didn't it work out? Shut the fuck up. You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? A muscle disease. And he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? No way. I'm a drag king, so I'm not doing drag. 
No way. Fuck you. What's up? You have a stage name? My name is Gunner Down. Gunner Down. With Gunner Down as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. Bro, <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> bro, I'm not Chris Rock, though. I'll kick you in your chest, bro. I swear to God. Are you dapping me or you want the hoodie or my wallet? What do you want? <laughs> careful, dog. Careful. <laughs> do y'all watch Criminal Minds? <laughs> All right, hey, one handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. I'm Jamar Moore. I told him when I got here. I've been watching him on YouTube. And, I, and I, I'm meeting him for the first time tonight. I'm seeing him live in person. Like a lot of us, I'm sure. For the first time, but I've been watching him. And me and my girl, my baby mama. And, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Jamar, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world. You're, you're the father of my daughter. But I want to fuck Matt Wright. Motherfucker, but you ain't gonna fuck. Uh, <laughs> but the, re the reason I'm here is because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like seeing motherfuckers win. And this, and this, this young white boy who wants to say nigga so bad <laughs> because all his friends are black. <laughs> but he can't say it because he'll get guessed. But when he comes to my house, I'm gonna say, get it out of your system. is because I have never met this man. I just watched him on YouTube. And I was like, yo, this motherfucker's funny. And he's pretty. And, and no, they're like, pretty people ain't supposed to be fun. Kevin Hart is not pretty. He's short and he's funny. Chris Tucker, motherfucker, damn! Okay? Dave Chappelle is rich as fuck. He's not yeah. pretty. True. I'm pretty, goddamn it. This motherfucker is pretty, but he's honest, he's real, and he's funny. And I DM'd him like a bitch. And he DM'd me back like a bitch. So now we got a romance going on. And I said, I'm going to come to your show, and I'll pay you like a bitch. But he did give me the tickets for free. Off this stage, but I just want to say I believe that this dude is on his way. He sells out every show. And I believe, I believe you are going to see Matt right in whatever is in his heart and with all, all his jokes and all of that stuff. And I want to see this motherfucker in front of a bunch of nicks because I think he can handle himself. But my point is. Let's applaud the bravery, the boldness, the unapologetic Matt Wright. And let's watch him grow. Let's watch him grow. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank Respect. you, man. Respect. Thank you, bro. Can I add it? He's stealing. <laughs> Go stairs this way. Yeah, be careful. One more time for Tay Diggs. Has anybody ever dated somebody that they felt like because of how religious they were, it was kind of like a hindrance to the relationship? Yes. Did you, did you really? Yes. A preacher. He was a preacher? Oh, fuck. 
What, uh, what, what, what religion? Aeropostle? <laughs> this old sharks? Penic penic penicillin? <laughs> what is that? Lucky you. <laughs> I'm not Pentecostal, but I can read lips. <laughs> I'll be okay. What was his nationality? He was white. Okay, just wanted to make sure this wasn't just regular Spanish. <laughs> and you were like, ah! <laughs> how, how old was he? 23. How old are you? 21. 21, okay. Was Preacher like his full time job? He's not speaking in tongues, he's just, just talking shit. God, God. <laughs> you don't know if he was like talking to the devil or describing his work. Like, you flush it, it's gonna... It's <laughs> somebody left a demon in this toilet. <laughs> That's disgusting. 21. Have you seen anybody now? Nice. Okay. No. no. What? Oh, it could be a good person. Where'd you meet this guy? I met him at a frat party. <laughs> Have you learned nothing? How in what world do you think that's better? <laughs> okay. You traded holy water for fucking jungle juice. <laughs> you don't have any kids or anything, right? No. No? Okay, good. You're 21 in Kentucky, that's like late. So I, didn't know. <laughs> I know some 21 year old grandmas who live, who live in fucking <laughs> Louisville, you know what I mean? Oh! oh. I'm not pronouncing it like I've got a dick in my mouth. <laughs> Ooh. Use all your fucking letters, okay? What are you guys, fucking British? How far along are you? Seven months? Oh my god, it's almost here. It fucking hurts, right? Yeah. What would, if you could compare like a guy having to go through, like what do you think we would have to go through to, to, to experience something like that? Anal? <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I think it's a lot worse than anal. I, I would imagine. I think like it's, it's a different pain. I mean, you've taken a big shit before. You know? <laughs> That's basically anal. You know what I mean? Every dude in here has taken a shit so big that you're like, I could be gay, dude. Like this. This was light work, you know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing, bro. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> no. Mila and... Roberto. Roberto? Roberto. Umberto? Sure. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before, but okay. What about you, Roberto? <laughs> what are you doing? You're a sheriff? For real? I didn't mean anything I said. I, I, I was just fucking around up here. You know what I mean? I don't even, I, it's a cool name. Um, <laughs> and you've never shot anybody? You've shot in somebody. <laughs> Does that scare you about him like having to have a job like that? That's so dangerous. It does. Yeah. If I wait, like, well, if I don't get a response within like two hours, I'm like, this is not good. If you don't get a response within the two hours, you just think he's dead. Yeah. It's not, it, no, that he could just be cheating. Like, it's not. It's, it's not always that serious. It's not always that. Y'all gotta get some more black friends, bro. I'm telling you, man. Black dudes are so fucking. Oh, yeah, I read a book. I, <laughs> I've got ESPN. <laughs> Y'all gotta step the fuck up, bro. Let's go. Thank you.
That's beautiful. Boy, you making me scared. Don't do that. Jesus Christ. Especially in the dark. I can't even fight you back there, dog. Like it's... Jesus Christ. See what I mean? Don't say it, be it. What? What? You ain't a nigga, but act like one. Given a script, I just played the part. Okay, I want to thank the academy. <laughs> Does anybody have any weed? That's gonna help me get through this like tremendously. Good. Is weed legal in Alabama? Good, because I I personally love to vape. Uh, just regular, just regular, um, just regular. It's a hookah stick. It's pure nicotine. How cool are the cops? How cool are the cops gonna be? I feel like I feel like this this, this scene in um fucking Gladiator. Just fucking give me a. Why'd you let me do that? <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you for it's. It's been a white privilege. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, you do not have a white privilege card. Let me see this. White privilege trumps everything. Wow, dude. There's a back. Yes. This card grants its bearer happiness and success because it's the color of your skin and not the choices you make that determine your abilities to be successful. <laughs> Dog. Now give me the N-word pass. Trades, tradesies, tradesies. Tra yeah. Nope. Y'all thought, y'all thought, y'all thought. A white man owns the company that sells these. Really? <laughs> well, if that isn't reparations. That's a beautiful thing right there. A black man selling white privilege. That, you know what? I love 2023. I'm actually totally okay with that. How did you know he had the cards? We're all now. He pulled out the card in line. That might be the whitest thing to do, by the way. <laughs> you, you, you ever heard of white privilege? Yeah, I know it's a thing. No, it's really a thing. You gotta, you gotta know a guy. You gotta, you, gotta, sorry, you gotta know a couple guys. You gotta know a group of guys. We all meet on Wednesdays. We all wear white. You should really come in the morning. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a good time. It's, uh... it's literally 13 bucks on Instagram. I didn't know. 13, like the amendment? You guys are dressed like the Wiggles, you know that, right? <laughs> like a Fifty Shades of Sacramento. You guys are all different. Did you purposely dress in, in different colors? I saw my face on the shirt. That was the least concerning part of the entire organization. It was really the color coordination is, is what's really impressive. Yellow, red, kind of pinkish, and then, and then green. Nice. Uh, those photos are trademarked, though, and I'm going to need $35,000. Uh, we're going to have to press charges. And you guys look like you have the money. So I'm, fucking, I'm following through for sure. I'm sorry. I've just never met a pallet of pussy before. This is... I feel like I'm trying to fuck in like the paint section of, of Home Depot. <laughs> You're just like, mm. Mm. You live in Washington, state or DC? State. 
Is a Bigfoot up there? You haven't found him yet. Keep looking. And make him wear the blue blazer when you find him. <laughs> I, I can't get over the Wiggles design, but I really can't. Like, it's... <laughs> What's your guys' song? Good pussy. Yummy, yummy. Good pussy. Yeah, yeah. The squish it. I don't know. I don't know the rest of the fucking songs, dude. Are you guys all single? Kind of. Sort of. Sort of. Only in Sacramento or what? Is it, what's that? Is it going on TikTok? It depends on how much of a disaster your lives are. I don't know. You're single. I am. What about you? I'm married, but I'm I'm available for free drinks. Married but available for free drinks. You out of your fucking mind? You know what? It makes total sense that you're the one dressed like a red flag. That actually takes total sense. This completely checks out. Wow. Okay. So married. Married. Single. Divorcing. Divorcing. Oh. Green flag. Look at that shit. Nice. Yeah, they're so... And, and then caution. Like, what's your deal? You know what I mean? You're just, you're just, you're just kind of single floating around. Like, well, we'll see. Yield. Should have left ten minutes ago. We gotta wrap this up because I'm trying to I'm trying to go back to the hotel and taste the rainbow. <laughs> I seem frustrated. We thought maybe a gift would help. I seem frustrated. A gift maybe help. Maybe after the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. What is this? Oh, don't clap. It could be a bomb. We don't know. We don't know yet. I came to Iowa and I, I guess... That's because I That's because the Build-A-Bear Listen, guys, I've never ended a show early before, but I... I'm sure you would all understand if I had to wrap things up, right? There's, hold on, there's one more thing in here. Cookies! Are you kidding me? The blowjob's gonna have a hard time beating this. this is fantastic. It's like the perfect consistency, too. Oh my God. Thank you so much. What's your name? Christina, you are so hot. Thank you so much. Oh my god. You're a grandma? Man. Let's put that shower chair to use. There's already plastic on the furniture. Let's make a mess. You know? How old are you? Say it. Say it. This is dirty talk to me. Come on, let's, 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 let's get it. 40, 45? Are you serious? Are you, are you from here? Really? We gotta get you out of here. We gotta get you the fuck out of here. Minneapolis, at least. Let's just get you, out. Let's just get you down the road. You're not married or anything? You bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my god, you local morons not marrying this beautiful woman who makes great cookies. Stupid. I'm so sorry. What, are you divorced? How long were you married for? 16 years. 16 years? Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Four. Oh, what? That's enough, though, right? You have your tubes tied? You do? I'm gonna fucking move in the morning. Yeah. Uh. These are my sisters. Those are your sisters? You have three sisters? Um, I'm the oldest out of nine. Nine? <laughs> Would you like to have such a hot older sister? <laughs> Does she know she's hot? Does she know that? No. She doesn't? No. Good. <laughs> Keep her humble. You're nothing, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be stuck here in Iowa forever, unless, unless, yeah.
Uh, that's gaslighting. <laughs> What's that? What was it? What did you want to show me? Was it a bank statement? What was it? <laughs> your daughter? <laughs> this is your daughter? Show us. Are you serious? No, nobody else can see her, actually. This is... I don't want Iowa to know she's out here. This is, this is your daughter? How old is she? This is the 21 year old? <sighs> this is a very tough decision to make, you guys. I don't know if you've ever been put in this position. But... This is in Jacksonville, Florida? I'll be down there. Maybe later on this year. She looks exactly like you. This is insane. Yes, she does. She's gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna date you for the next 10 years, and then we'll, we'll trade up. <laughs> Fuck, this is about to be the most uncomfortable Thanksgiving I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because if you taste this good, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Uh, losing my kids. Losing your kids. You might find them. <laughs> no, that's, that's bad. <laughs> but if the one in Jacksonville goes missing, mind your business. <laughs> She's in good hands. <laughs> Got your phone? All right, let's swipe out of Instagram and see what else is in here. <laughs> now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... No, wait. <gasps> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. I had a lump in my breast. You had a lump in your breast? I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram recently. Mm -hmm. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you're not going to ask for ugly people's advice. Yeah, I totally get it. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTimed With just a tit out. Yeah. Fuck. Because, like, you know it's in the palm of your hand. Ah! Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm okay. Need a second opinion? <laughs> Are you sure? Text messages. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? FaceTime <laughs> Maggie, that is not your angle. <laughs> Where are you right now? Do you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? Like, you know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history, and, uh, gross. <laughs> but I, I'm, glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally okay. Second opinion. Everything's totally all right. Sure did. Sure did. And, um. Well, you're a lucky motherfucker. I don't know. Hi, right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. Bye, Mom. I love you. Bye, Maggie. <laughs> Hear them. What do you mean? What do you mean they fucked them up? Who fucked up your titties? <laughs> the doctor? Do you have fake boobs? Fuck. Um, <laughs> prove it. <laughs>
What do you, they make sounds. Like, like what? Like, like what, what, what sound do fake titties make? Cha-ching. Thank you guys for coming on this date with Christina and I. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me ruin this family. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck? You're lying. That did not just happen. You, was that a real thing? Has a squeaky toy in her titties. And you talking to a doll. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, oh. What? I don't think that's a mistake. I think that's the best thing to have ever happened. You can get squeaky toys inside your titties? Can you customize them like a Tesla horn? What made you get them done? Four kids. Four kids. You breastfeed? Two of them. Two of them? Damn. Because you know it goes great with cookies. Milk. Silicone. Black dudes are the funniest people on the planet. That's a black dude for sure. I know a black dude's laugh. That's all I did all of February. I just fell asleep to black dudes laughing, man. Like, that was my ASMR. That brings me such joy. What's your name, bro? Uh, Tori, man. Who are you here with? <laughs> man, I've never been more sure somebody's with a side chick in my life. Black dudes answer you without even answering. They really do. Who are you here with? Ah. Woo. What's that? I said we good. Ain't nobody's cameras out. You all right, man. You okay. <laughs> but don't start no shit, man, because I'll fucking boom. Got your ass. Boom. Got you on camera, Tori. Suspicious. Oh, man. I hope I get a side chick someday. Just go do all the things I'm not supposed to in public and shit. No side. One more time. No side, just the main. That's the, that's your main girl. Yeah, you felt the need to reiterate that. <laughs> you felt the need. Yeah, like, just to make sure. What's that? You almost got me in some shit. <laughs> you almost got you in some shit, man. Okay, this is your one and only girlfriend. Don't do that. Don't sit down. All right, sit down. Stop making this woman think fuck the Tory fucked you. Okay, do not do that. Don't say that. No, you don't. You don't know who's sitting back there. Who's the girl you know? I know Brittany. You know Brittany? Oh. He broke up with Brittany forever ago. Right? Next subject. <laughs> What, you don't like talking about black history? <laughs> Chapter one, Britney. You said everybody knows Britney? Yeah. Britney sounds like a hoe now. Everybody knows her? Hey, Tori, don't say that. Fuck yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. How long you been out and about? 2020. Summer of 2020. Summer of 2020. Fuck recently. Were you just that bored in the house? How old are you? 20. You're 20? So you were. You, your birthday's this Wednesday? Happy birthday, man. Um, You guys gotta compete. Who sucks better dick? That is, uh, you think so? 
He's got home field advantage. <laughs> All right, let's test it. Alex, get back out here. Alex, get back. <laughs> Are you single? You are single? I'm single. It, you're gonna die that way if you want to be quiet. I swear to God. Anyway, you got any more room on your team? Because this shit is annoying. Oh. oh my god. So, no public boyfriend just yet. It's complicated. He's not shit. He ain't shit. Why do you say that? Do you... Don't cheer, you homophobes. <laughs> what, 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 made, what made him not shit? Besides you in there. You know? <laughs> Cause he was blocking the pet whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever, you fucking turds. <laughs> but you were fucking turds, actually. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um I'm sorry. Real question. College baseball? Oh man, you've been fingered in a dorm for sure. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Right, so who went pro and didn't take you with them? Who was it? <laughs> Alright, what, what is it that you don't like about college baseball players? Oh my gosh. Uh, the, ego. the ego. The ego of playing a, a collegiate sport at a high level? <laughs> you can't be proud about that? The seventh pitcher on the team. I love how you're clowning them for that, but Loki, you fucked the seventh pitcher on the team. <laughs> Girl, yo, your pussy is the bullpen. Do you know that? Strike one. So it's just an ego thing? That's the only thing you don't like about it? Oh. He would, he, you never fucked him? Damn, you couldn't even fuck the seventh pitcher on the baseball team? Damn. Strike two. Where did you go to school? You didn't go to school? You didn't go to college? Strike three, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Jesse. Jesse, pleasure to meet you. What do you do work wise? I uh, take care of my two younger brothers. You take care of your two younger brothers? Mm -hmm. What do you want to do after the kids are grown? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to school for forensic anthropology. You, you were going to school for forensic anthropology. What's that? <laughs> so, um, basically, I would, like, look at dead bodies and try to figure out uh, what happened to them. Did you get to the point in the school where you were, like, face-to-face -face with a dead body? No, I, I quit going to school because I lost myself. <laughs> you, wait, hold on, what? I, would you rather I not repeat that? I don't care. <laughs> she basically, she stopped going to school because she started having some negative thoughts and wanted to focus on some health care, some self-care. We'll, we'll, we'll phrase it that way. <laughs> she, was, she was not doing so well mentally, so her parents were like, here, watch our other two kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, Jesse! You're in no position! Oh, my God. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you don't end up looking at two more dead bodies. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. <laughs> would you be like in like the morgue? Is that where where, where, you, where like your work would take place? Could be. I also fucking... thought about doing like field work, so like going where the body is. Field work. Awesome. Not a term I would be using in the South, but. <laughs> <laughs> field of work, maybe, but. Um... <laughs> I roasted you. I figured I at least owed you a conversation. So thanks for being so sweet. Um, 
Don't put me in your note. It's a good forearms on you, says your sisters. What's your name? Casey. Casey and Jesse. Jesse. Pleasure to meet you, Casey and Jesse. You guys are adorable. Where'd you guys meet? In Columbus, Ohio? You guys drove from Ohio? You're not even allowed to be gay up there. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Stay down here. Well, well, <laughs> maybe. Let's go west a little bit. Yeah. Um, you got here yesterday. And you going back tomorrow? Did you guys do anything fun for Easter? Repent, maybe? <laughs> Did you guys go to church this morning? You have food poisoning? Fuck. Eating the wrong fish. <laughs> That's Jesus saying, clean up your life. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Now, what's Penn's Mechanic like exactly in, in Columbus? It's like a, like a bar. An arcade bar? Like um, pinball machines and stuff like that? Nice. Just work on your finger and just. <laughs> Interesting. Do you remember who'd you come out to first? You don't mind me asking. Your friends? And did they know? They were like, "Yeah, bitch, you you look you dress like that. You don't skateboard at all. <laughs> You're young. You don't have to do it anytime soon. What would you ever want, kids? You think? If I'm rich. If you're rich. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to stop working at an arcade bar. <laughs> That's step number one. I go through backpacks like crazy, like because I fly so much and they always fuck up my bags. It's always the, like the the, the lining on like where the strap meets the actual backpack. It gets fucking torn. I'm always carrying so much shit. I, I go through more straps than you guys do. <laughs> I was trying to get to it. I was like, how can I how can I squeeze that in without any lube? You know. That's so cute, man. I wish I was gay. Yeah! I'd never pay for a job. <laughs> you calm down back there before I have her come back there and peg the shit out of you. Okay? I swear to God. What gets in the way the most? Communication, I guess. Communication. That's a big one. <sighs> well, it doesn't always need to be verbal, you know? I'm sure you guys are pros at reading lips. <laughs> you know, settle it, rock, paper, scissors. You know? Like adults. You got your foot up on the stage the whole you hella comfortable, man. What what kind of work you need those boots for? Electrical contractor. Electrical contractor. Nice. You ever been electrocuted? I have. Well, yeah. shocked. You've been shocked? Yeah. Like finding out your daughter's a lesbian? <laughs> You did IVF, inver, infertile, in, uh, uh, <laughs> infertile vitro asphyxiation. <laughs> they put eggs yeah. and semen inside you, yeah. and then they just fucking. <laughs> so this is my impression of them after an argument. <laughs> Did you know it was going to be two? Like, did you know you were selecting twins? Yes. Oh, really? I didn't know you could do that. You had to choose the sex. You can't do that. Cancel. <laughs> cancel, 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 cancel. Shame. This is what I was talking about, man. With Nashville, so funny. You guys were like, no school shooting stuff. But I was like, a little bit of transphobia? And you guys were like, yeah! <laughs> we're back in it, baby! Uh, yeah, you can't make fun of the kids, just the shooters. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Buffalo, dude. <laughs> you saw you saw me barely touch it, right? Is it, Don't make them oh, that one right there. You knew this was gonna happen. That's why there was a backup. Oh god damn it. Oh. 
Let's see. How do I? Hey guys, I don't work at Radio Shack. <laughs> Fucking telling me how to do equipment stuff. There we go. <laughs> Jesus there we go. It's also loose, right? Uh, I gotta, I gotta hold my shit like a rapper. The whole show. Let's go. What? Yeah, I'll try. Oh, is there a wireless one? Oh shit, we got options. Okay. I'm gonna put this back. It's on now. Check, check. Nope, nope, nope. So what y'all want to do after this? <laughs> it's on now, right? else to do <laughs> I say you it's not it's still not on I can go back to that one yeah. <laughs> all right here we go <laughs> let's fuck it yeah that'll be fine we can just leave the, the core of this one off that's okay <laughs> I'm not you see I'm not even touching it right like that's I mean, this shit's bound to move around. The wireless not shitty good, man. <laughs> Bro, this shit feels like... <laughs> this shit feels like I'm like the base of an orgy. And I'm just like... Oh, and, 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 the whole fucking time. <laughs> Alright, let's hope this is the one. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I fucking hate this city, man. I just should have. This shit would never happen in Albany. I wish I could turn y'all's mic off right now. I really do. <laughs> Driving him in a fucking tank? Like what? What branch? Army. Army. Yeah, let's boo the people protecting us. Let's do that. Sexually assaulted by soldiers, so I'm lying. Yeah. Damn. What you do today? Uh, woke up, had a, a couple meetings, and then uh, and I joined the army. Sensual sex with somebody. <laughs> so that was a pretty productive day. Uh, well, sorry to hear about your car. How do you feel about the alien information that came out? Okay, this is a good one. Does anybody actually give a shit when they saw it? How can you not? No, I don't, I don't, I don't. Bro, they confirmed aliens are real. The fact that you guys are even still at a comedy show right now is insane. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Why you all aren't no. building bunkers right now doesn't side. make sense. I'm on your side. What? Yeah, because hey, duh. The, the analogy I actually heard was the concept that, think about why we don't talk to ants, right? Like they're so underdeveloped yeah. as creatures. It's like, you know, you can't really have a, you can't really communicate with them. I don't think aliens think we're even ready to meet them. No. And we're not. Imagine aliens come down and are like, men and women of Earth, and somebody's like, some of us are neither. Shut up. That's exactly why I'm not talking to nobody in the back. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Helen was minding her own business, being polite. What's your name? What is it? Rachel. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Everybody knows a bitch named Rachel, dude. Everybody does. That's, 
one of the most red flag names. Are you in school still? From where? Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh my god. It's easier to be cancer than what you got. Oh my god. ASU, absolutely. Your pussy tastes like jungle juice. <laughs> there ain't no way I would ever date somebody from ASU. Nah, I'm all right. <laughs> Your pussy is just a beer pong cup at this point. <laughs> Elbow. You guys are married? Yeah. How long? Five years. Five years? Congratulations. Thanks. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, when we were four and five. When you were four and five? Yeah. Well, you're not nine and ten, so I'll tell you, <laughs> where was this? <laughs> You grew up together. No way. Across, you fucked the neighbors? <laughs> oh my God, that's some wholesome shit right there. You hopscotch your way into some pussy, man. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> God. That's so adorable. Aw. How'd you shoot your shot? We were swimming. You were swimming? unhygienic from what I've heard. Um, chlorine or a river? It was a pool above ground? Yeah. Was it really? Oh man. Do you, know, do you know how impeccable your game has to be to get some pussy in an above ground pool? God damn, I wish I had a sketch, dude. Because that is such a funny visual. Of, like, I imagine him just like picking her up and putting her on the side of the pool. And she's just up like this and the side folds down. <laughs> <laughs> and then that giant gush of water is just like <laughs> He's like, damn, you wet <laughs> While she's just being waterboarded on the grass just <laughs> You guys can get the visual, right? Like, yeah <laughs> So I just found out, apparently I'm colorblind. Don't know how long that's been going on for, but man, I tell you what, shocked me too, came right out of the purple. Some people say that I've got a tiny cock, which is accurate. His name is Winston. He's my favorite. And now I have a tiny cock, at least I've got a huge pin. Wanna know how to pleasure a woman? I know this. I know this one. Guys, you listen to her. Ladies, am I wrong? What a heated jacket? What kind of pimp shit is that? I'm making you laugh so much that you're sweating. Man. I will say getting complimented by a black dude is way better than ever busting a nut. I will say that. It's, it's just, it, you have to work harder for it. Just girlfriend. Gotcha. How long? How, when did y'all meet? 15 years Hey, man, I'd roast you, but your jacket already cooking you, so. <laughs> What's your name, man? Will. Will, great to meet you, Will. You're cool as hell, man. What you, what you do, Will? <laughs> Say less. <laughs> ah! We got him. We got him. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom? Go ahead, man. We'll wait. Can I see his jacket? Can I wear it? I just wanna be wearing it when he comes back. Thank you. Thank you. Shit, heavy as fuck. This is the heaviest jacket. Shit is hot. Bro, this jacket just does something to you, man. I've had this jacket on for 10 seconds and my hand is just like. What's up, William? How many polar bears you kill? 
I feel like this is how pilots dress on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> it's so hard to not go through your pockets, but she asked me. She asked me nicely not to, so I won't. Yeah. I'm trying to feel. Let's see. I know the shape, but like I don't know what I don't know what it could be. Oh, I thought it was, but I didn't recognize the end of it. It's drugs. It's drugs. Just a little, just a little paraphernalia. And in this pocket, cigarettes. Um, your phone. That's stupid as hell. That's stupid as hell. Oh my god. I mean, you have to forgive me. I haven't held an iPhone seven in so long. This is a 12? This is the smallest 12 I've ever felt. It's a mini? When they make mini 12s? Yeah. You got a... Is this a pre-roll tube? Probably. It's in the opposite... It's in this one. Yeah. Drugs. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> this is the most ghetto magic show ever. <laughs> Man, you guys should have seen when he disappeared in front of his kids. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> Will, you're a great dude, man. I really fuck with you heavily. I'm gonna take this off before I'm an accomplice. <laughs> yeah, I smell like Newports. <laughs> <laughs> Were they Newports for real? No! Didn't even look at them. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all shit on stereotypes until they're real funny, huh? Yeah. Fuck y'all, man. Do your cookies? Do I want what kind of chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft? Can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Edibles? Oh my God, it could be edibles. Oh, I don't know. Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. Can you guys feel my jokes? <laughs> you my fucking nightmare, bro. It is very good. Where are you from? Crumble? Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Now, who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with crumble? No. Why not? Because they crumble and I heard they don't. Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does. Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray, even once. Do you have the cutter with you? With the crumble. There's, like there's a, a cutter. A cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity. <laughs> with this bakery. Anybody else see this picture moving? <laughs> if this shit really kicked him, I'd freak the fuck out, bro. Anybody gay? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, I can't see your haircut in the dark, but yeah. Oh, yeah. 
How long have you been a uh, lesbian? <laughs> Biologically, what were you born? Female. Female. Oh, I appreciate you. What's, what's your name? Carl. Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, the gangster ass name. How'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Axel's my best friend. Your best, you let your best friend pick your name? Oh my god, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, your name Baby Dick. From here on out. <laughs> you chose the name? How'd you how did you land on Axel? You built like a carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> now you built like a transmission. But that's a Actually, you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some, we should go get some bitches after this. Actually. Let's go. I got a 14 year ago, so I'm down. Who, uh, who, who are you married to? Male, female? Uh, another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um, same situation, biologically? Okay, gotcha. And why didn't it work out? Shut the fuck up. You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? A muscle disease. And he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? No way. I'm a drag king, so I met him doing drag. No way. Fuck you. What's up? You have a stage name? My name's Gunner Down. Gunner Down. With Gunner down as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know, I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. Anybody ever seen a ghost? Oh, a ghost in your bathroom mirror? The only thing I've actually ever seen in my bathroom mirror is just this fine ass dude. He just be, he just be, he looks scary good. That's crazy. Man, died from too much puss. <laughs> what did you hear about a bathroom mirror? No, I saw one in my bathroom mirror. You saw one in your bathroom mirror? Yes. What did it look like? Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. My aunt believes she's a medium, so she's the one who's your, your aunt believes she's a medium? <laughs> but that bitch really a large. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid, man. Next time a person's like, I'm a medium, I'm gonna go, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to show your family. What happened? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so basically, her aunt who believes she's a medium told them that she believed there's ghosts in the house. And then they said that she was crazy and got her institutionalized. That is so fucked up. She tried to save y'all. Is she still in there? No, she's now living in that house. She lives in that house now? And she's like, I ain't saying shit now. Y'all can get possessed. I don't care. <laughs> shit flying off the walls. Did you see that? Nope, sure didn't.
Did you know that it's Black History Month? You did know that. Have you learned anything yet? No? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Does anybody have a, a black history fact or, or statistic that would... Uh... Oh, let's hear this white guilt. What, what was it? What, what do you got? Um, um, African American um, invented the super soaker, Lonnie Johnson. What's that? He invented the super soaker? No way! What's his name? Lonnie what? What is it? Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie Johnson. That's wrong. That sounds like every cornerback. I used to love the Super Soaker, man. Okay, that's, that's a good one. What's, uh, what's, what's another one? He also invented the Nerf gun. The same guy invented the Nerf gun? I mean, if they're going to keep shooting each other, might as well be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all, dude. That's a good joke, man. Dude, can we end on a fun third? Does anybody have another one? Nope. <laughs> Not looking good, Connecticut. <laughs> We've heard enough. <laughs> What's that? It used to only be a week long until a president changed it to the month. Black History Month used to only be a week long, yeah. and then a president changed it to, ma to make it the whole month, yeah. the shortest month. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what president it was? I don't remember. You don't remember? I do want to know this, actually. It was Lonnie Johnson. Bro. <laughs> yup. Yeah. I was going to give it a second. I was going to say the same thing, bro. I was going to act like I was Googling for 10 seconds. Lonnie Johnson. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, we are learning. We are learning some stuff. What, what happened with your ghost story? Uh, I was in Monterey, Mexico. Monterey, Mexico. You look like you're not from there. So visiting. I was in Mexico City and I was driving back to uh, Kansas. I went through Monterey. I was in a, I was in a hotel room that night in our room. I was with three other people, also witnesses to this event, mm -hmm. and there was a probably like an eight foot figure in our room. There was an eight foot figure in your room? Yeah. Mexicans are not that tall. <laughs> so instinctually, you're like, that's not supposed to be here. Unless it was just like two of them in a trench coat, like, you know, you know, you know you know when kids are trying to get into an amusement park and they're just fucking... One adult, please. Okay, so you saw, you saw this tall-ass figure, okay. That's a true story, man. That's the end of it? No. Okay. <laughs> Still going! So, it definitely, it made an indescribable sound that I cannot... It made an indescribable sound? You mean Spanish? This was just housekeeping. And he, <laughs> he, he woke up at 9 a.m. and just heard, I clean. Ah! <laughs> Dia de los muertes. <laughs> so it made this sound. How would you describe this sound? A whisper scream? Was it the ghost of the Yin Yang twins? What the fuck? <laughs> and then did it just disappear? Did it walk away? It levitated over the bed. Oh my god! It levitated over the bed? It, all right, so it levitated over the bed and you were like, ah! 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 <laughs> Please don't! <laughs> could you guys in the back hear what happened? You could hear the story okay? I right, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, basically he was in Mexico, he was doing some gay shit with his friends. <laughs> Scared him a little.
seen a ghost? Have you really? Wait, hold on. Before you get into this, does anybody have any weed? Wait, do you really? What do you have? You have a whole joint? What does she have? You have a, pe- a dab pen? Can I, am I allowed to have this? Can I have... Why does it look like a pregnancy test? <laughs> Tastes like urine. <laughs> it's called ghost. <laughs> what? If this isn't a sign, I don't know what is. Oh my God. Does that mean your kid's not gonna make it? I have a friend who, around places where things happen, things happen, she'll like feel weird. Like on our uh, college campus, there's this tree. And when she first toured, she walked by the tree and she just felt like she was choking. And they like looked it up later and that's like the tree where a bunch of lynchings would happen. And like all through her childhood, like like certain places would give her like headaches or like bad feelings, and like uh, they would look it up and it's like, oh, that's the bridge where like everyone commits suicide over and over and over and just like make her physically feel ill. So do you think like if if she entered a room where two people just got done just fucking the <laughs> shit out of each other, she would be like, <gasps> I'm choking again. Oh my god. And they're like, no, they used to shoot porn in this room. <laughs> you never know. Okay, what's comforting though? She says cemeteries. She's like, cemeteries are calm. Cemeteries. Do you have anything you want on your tombstone? <laughs> you guys um, ever think about this? Like, cause that's like the thing that people see your name, your year. <laughs> what was code, it? A QR code. A QR code? <laughs> A QR code to what? Your OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> God rest her soul, but them titties can come back. God damn. About to give me a resurrection. A res erection. Come on. Man, y'all gotta hit this ghost shit. This is, uh... Oh, yes, do match. You guys have matching snakeskin boots. It's both snakeskin? Python, yeah. Python. Fuck yeah. Not, not, none of those gardener snake bitches. <laughs> These are coupled up, obviously, matching. Nice. How long? Five years. Five years? Where'd you meet? In North Carolina. In North Carolina? That's specific. Where? <laughs> we met at a bar. You met at a bar? At, well, yeah. I was underage and drunk. <laughs> hey, stop talking. 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 <laughs> Under 21. Under 21. Okay. You almost ruined the show. <laughs> he approached you or you approached him? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> also not a good sign. Uh, what do you guys do? Basket weaver. Basket weaver? What the fuck? Bro? You married to a fucking hunter-gatherer? What the fuck? You work for the fucking Easter Bunny dog? That's coming up. That's time of the year. That's actually how he got her at the bar. He just he laid down a trail of eggs. It was like... <laughs> and then he had one of those big picnic baskets up on a stick like this, and then she went underneath it, and he went, ah, got her. <laughs> like a fucking Looney Tune. <laughs> how long have you been doing that for? Five years. Five, five years? Did she take your fucking manhood, dog? What did you do beforehand? Work at a steel mill? Coal mines. Coal mines? Are you serious? <laughs> Man made you start weeping baskets. Um, sorry. Do you like it? Yeah. Come on, man. It's just us. You enjoy the job? It's fine. What would you like to do if you could do anything in the entire world? Any job? Fly a helicopter. Fly a helicopter. Interesting. Man, I, I used to love helicopters, but I'm also a Lakers fan. <laughs> Man, 
and you know what's fucked up? He's wearing a black mamba on his feet. <laughs> Can I see one of the boots? Are you able to take one of them off? This is the real deal, man. Smell his boo. What the fuck's wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. This is so stupid. As if, as if I would ever. As we know, there's a reason you put up with crazy shit in a relationship, right? Pussy. Yup. I can't see you, but I want to believe that was God. You know what I mean? You're 52. Who are you here with, man? My wife. Oh shit. <laughs> 17 years. 17 years? What's your name, man? Troy. Troy. Great to meet you, Troy. 16-year-old daughter. Why? Why are you telling me that? <laughs> that seemed like a setup, didn't it? What's up? I'm Troy. Been married 17 years. Have a 16-year-old daughter. Don't mind the math on that. Definitely got married to the force. But she's fine as fuck and ready to mingle. Why you like? Why you pitch your family like it's the beginning of an episode of Next on MTV? Remember that shit? What's up? I'm Troy. I'm 52. I love pussy. And I got married because she got pregnant. What would you say is the key to keeping things fresh and exciting after 17 years, though? Space. Space. I know she means like personal space, but I want to believe like they only jerk off to like videos of the Milky Way. You know what I mean? Like they they just fuck to like audio books by Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> like now nah, you got fuck you ever fucked to space? I don't want to hear about your wife's black holes, dog. I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> What's that? It's for you. It's a polar bear. That's for me. Yeah. What is it? Bear. You got me a Build-A-Bear? Yeah. Why? It's a voice message too in it. It has a voice message? Yeah, from your show where you said if someone got you a Build-A-Bear. Oh my god. So I did, I did a TikTok one time where the girl in the audience was saying it was a red flag that a guy brought her a Build-A-Bear on a first date. Yeah. And I had said in the video, I was like, I would love if somebody brought me a Build-A-Bear. So you brought me one? Yeah. I gotta do more jokes about getting my dick sucked. <laughs> I doing with all this cute shit? Oh God! Thanks, I guess. This is so sweet. Thank you. Oh, your numbers are on here. It might still happen. It might still happen. Okay. We can use them for cleanup. Can I take them out of here? Yeah. This is so cute. Aww. You didn't really, you didn't spring to get him any clothes? <laughs> That's kind of the whole, you didn't really build the bear. You just kind of, you kind of just, psst, looks like you stole one, kind of. There's a voice my one? Yeah, press his paw. Press his paw? What if I press it and it's just like, I want you to fuck both of us. It might be the other one. <laughs> That sucks, I can't lie. That's, um, that's, uh, it's not incredibly audible, but it's a thought that counts. Thank you so much. This is, this is one of the, the sweetest, laziest gifts I've ever had. Thank you. Oh, back in there you go. There we go. Swipe out of Instagram, see what else is in here. Now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... No, wait. <gasps> Here's the thing, here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. I had a lump in my breast. It's you had a lump in your breast? I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram and recently. I'm best friends with my kids. Mm -hmm. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you're not gonna ask for ugly people's advice. <laughs> yeah, I totally get it. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTimed me. With just a tit out. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> 
Cause like you know it's in the palm of your hand. Ah! Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm okay. Need a second opinion? <laughs> Are you sure? Text messages. Come on. You're a genius. You are my guardian angel. Matt's Rife. Oh. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? Maggie, that is not your angle. Where are you right now? I'm over his shit. <laughs> oh my god. Do you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? right? You know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history. And, uh, gross. <laughs> but I, I'm, glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally okay. Second opinion. Everything's totally all right. See your kitties? Sure did. Sure did. And, um. Well, you're a lucky motherfucker. I don't know. I know. I know. All right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. Bye, Mom. I love you. Bye, love you. bye Maggie. scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> bro, I'm not Chris Rock, though. I'll kick you in your chest, bro. I swear to God. Are you dapping me or you want the hoodie or my wallet? What do you want? <laughs> Careful, dog. Careful. <laughs> do y'all watch Criminal Minds? One handsome motherfucker at a time, dog. Did you have some fun? I ain't got jokes like this motherfucker right here. I'm a Shawar Moore. I told him when I got here. I've been watching him on YouTube. And, I, and I, I'm meeting him for the first time tonight. I'm seeing him live in person. Like a lot of us, I'm sure. For the first time, but I've been watching him. Me and my girl, my baby mama. And, I, and my girl comes to me and she's like, Shamari, you're the sexiest motherfucker in the world, Jen. You're the father of my daughter, but I want to fuck Matt right. Check this out. We're going to meet the motherfucker, but you ain't going to fuck. <laughs> but the, re the reason I'm here is because I like seeing motherfuckers win. I like to see motherfuckers win. And this, and this, this young white boy, who wants to say nigga so bad, <laughs> he does all his friends are black. <laughs> but he can't say it, because he'll get pissed. But when he comes to my house, I'm going to say, get it out of your system. Nigga, 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 nigga. The reason I'm here is because I've never met this man. I just watched him on YouTube, and I was like, yo, this motherfucker's funny, and he's pretty. And, and no, but they're like, pretty people ain't supposed to be funny. Kevin Hart is not pretty. He's short, and he's funny. Chris Tucker, motherfucker, damn! Okay? Dave Chappelle is rich as fuck. He's not yeah. pretty. True. I'm pretty, goddammit. And I'm not, well, I'm I was, 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 I was,
<laughs> Get shoes on. This motherfucker is pretty, but he's honest, he's real, and he's funny. And I DM'd him like a bitch. And he DM'd me back like a bitch. So now we got a romance going on. And I said, I'm gonna come to your show, and I'll pay you like a bitch. But he did give me the tickets for free. Get off the stage, but I just want to say I believe that this dude is on his way. He sells out every show. And I believe, I believe you are going to see Matt right in whatever it is in his heart and with all, all his jokes and all of that stuff. And I want to see this motherfucker in front of a bunch of niggas because I think he can handle himself. But my point is. Let's applaud the bravery, the boldness, the unapologetic Matt Wright. And let's watch him grow. Let's watch him grow. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Can I add it? He's stealing. <laughs> Go stairs this way. Yeah, be careful. One more time for Tay Diggs. What's up? What's up? Introverts? You don't like intro? I, I would say I'm introverted, despite this job. Like I'm, I'm pretty introverted. Are you? Are you an? Are you an extrovert? That's your thing. So you can go out to parties. You like to be center of attention. Clearly. <laughs> When was his last uh, introvert that you tried dating her? Like, he's not getting, he's not outspoken enough. You married an introvert? Are you still married to him? You, but you, but you gave him 16 years of just silence? And what was the final straw? You were like, I just can't deal with it. And he was like, I don't know what you want me to do. What was the, what was the final straw, if you don't mind me asking? It is like therapy. You want to be an extrovert, fucking talk. No, it's all. Don't talk to me when I want to talk to you. Don't do it. What did he, what did he do for work? Was he like an office job kind of guy? CPA. CPA? What's that? What is it? An accountant? Yeah, this motherfucker crunches numbers for a living. You didn't see this coming? You thought he was going to be class clown? This motherfucker eats pussy with a green visor on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you kind of should have seen that coming a little bit. You sounds like you gave, you gave him a chance, though. When I met him, he was smart. He worked at Levi's. He had a whole new stack of his great gay friends. And then it was like after we got married, he's like, I think I want to be a And then it was like, what? Okay, so when, when, you first, when you first met him, he was in marketing, working for Levi's. For some reason, he had all these gay friends. That would seem like an unnecessary detail of the story, but you felt like you were out there. I've never met a gay introvert in my entire life. Even the bottoms are loud as fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's still fucking his baby mama. Well, that's loyalty. <laughs> it sounds like if, he's, if he's fucking anybody, he should be the mother of his child, no? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you bring up a family. <laughs> with his wife and his baby. <laughs> the audacity of this man to live happily ever after. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> he doesn't fuck with her? No, he said he don't fuck with her, but he's lying. I think he's lying. Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. <laughs> I mean, maybe he shouldn't, be he shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Four months. That's tough. That's that. This, you know what? This is a little too early to be having this many red flags. To be honest, like this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So I, my best advice would be to either I'd say break up with them or also get pregnant. Play this bitch's game, okay? He was FaceTiming her the other day, and she was breastfeeding at the same time. Oh.
Oh, that's hot. Damn. Damn. How are they? It sounds like you do something very well that she doesn't. Like raise her child? <laughs> Maybe you might be you might be the best mom for this situation. I don't know. Man, this is the coolest episode of Dr. Phil I've ever been on. <laughs> This shit is all over the place. By the way, this isn't normally how this crowd work goes. Usually someone will be like, ah, you know, they have, I don't know, they have fucking, they wear flip-flops or something silly, but y'all like, no, my life is in pieces. I'm in a weird spot, because I'm still coming into like my body, my mind, and my face. Like puberty just happened, bro. It was so late. It was so late. I was ugly last week. Like, it was bad. And now, now I look like a handsome lesbian. Like, it went full spectrum. It went zero to a thousand so fast. It's made dating really difficult because apparently dudes with strong jaw lines have been treating women terribly for years and nobody told me until I got one. And now it's too late. Like, Chrissy, I get it. I look like the kind of guy who would sleep with you and not call you the next day. That's so not the case. Like, I'm so emotional, you have no idea. Like, like yeah, I might sleep with you and not call you the next day. Because I'm busy planning our wedding. Right? Do you understand how much work goes in the hour day. Like, I got stuff to do, man. You even know where to get doves? Anybody? Nobody, right? They're not on Amazon Prime. You can't post made doves. I've tried. But Chris, you know what I hate? I hate that you're not completely wrong. Like, I do suck at relationships. I'm so bad. I get too attached too easily. I know that. I'm always one to say I love you first. Like, oh, I had a great time last night. When can I see you again? Like, I'm that dude. And I think that's why I can't go to prison. Like, like it, it's not so much the showers I'm afraid of. It's just like, what if I fall in love? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, what if I meet the one and I get out before him? Like, now I can't go see my boo? Are you serious? <laughs> I gotta meet him with a glass every week? That's not gonna work for me. I need communication, all right? I'm back in court trying to get my sentence extended. Just please, Your Honor, I'm begging you. How do you plead? Guilty of love, Your Honor. I'll do anything. <laughs> Matt, you're only in there for a week. What happened? I was in the cafeteria, and he put me in a chokehold and said, give me your fruit cup. And I said to myself, now there's a guy who knows how to get what he wants. And now I'm Devontae's fruit cup. That's how it works. Go through a circle. I'm from Saudi Arabia. You're from Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Welcome to Ohio. <laughs> it's, uh, if it, is it your first time in Columbus? Mm, sorry. <laughs> Oh, you guys are from Cleveland. Oh, never mind. Enjoy Columbus. <laughs> so much better. Our crack is pure. Okay. He misses Saudi Arabia so much, he came all the way to Cleveland to find some bomb-ass pussy. Isn't that crazy? How's the comedy scene in Saudi Arabia? People, do, people, do people laugh? Yeah. Most of the men? Uh, <laughs> I didn't get your names. I'm so sorry. Kaylee and what? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make it easy. I make it easy for me. Let's go. Like saying dude, but you're gonna add W, so we dude. Like dude, but with a W, we dude. But it means the most lover in Arabic. It means the most lover. Aww, you big dick slinger, are you? Aww. Oh you and your weapon of mass destruction. Oh, he's so cute. Do you really want to know my full name? I'm, I want to know your full name more than anything. You going to take a note? No, I got it. It's all up here, dog. <laughs> if someone said I'm going to give you whatever they want. Really? Yeah. You'll give me whatever I want if I can pronounce yeah. your name correctly. my full name. Will you give me whoever I want? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can't do that here, my dude. You can't do that. You can't just be giving people away, okay? Anymore. Hey guys, we haven't always been a cool country, okay? Ah, right, well, dude, lay it on me, dog. Right. It's Abdul Wadud, Abdul Rahim, Ruh Al Amin, Abdul Amin. Yo, somebody put this motherfucker in reverse. Did y'all hear that shit? Oh, sounds like somebody rewound this motherfucker. 
It sounds like he was like, I'm new here, I love America, Cleveland is awesome, Columbus is so much better. Take it back one more time. You don't really What do? We have to have our parents and grandpas and great grandpas and then family. So you will be known when someone like me, you out there, uh -huh. like, oh, is that your grandpa? Oh, that's your grandson? So that's how we know each other. That was more confusing than your name was, to be honest. That was far more confusing. I love you, dog. I really do. <laughs> Absolute pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you too. Uh, what'd you say? Well, it's my pleasure to meet you too. Oh, you said it so right for me. <laughs> he said he said it with like a strong accent at first, but then he went, "It is my pleasure to meet you." It's like we're turning into Siri real quick. Uh, you're a cool ass dude, man. Um, um, Columbus, sweet. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Somebody's gonna catch a flight. <laughs> get a, you know, a bone necklace? What is it? An alligator tooth? Did you get it yourself? Yes. No way, you want alligators? That's so cool, dude. How long have you been doing that? 10 years? Seems like an odd mid-life choice to just make, to just dive into. <laughs> how, how old are you? You 43, so at 33, you were like, something's missing. The fear of death. Interesting. The, uh, were you in the army before that? Oh, man. Pussy. God. Oh, my God. What did you do in the army? You kill people? Ah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can't do shit, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Being a comedian. <laughs> what do you do? You're a personal trainer. Have you ever used roids? <laughs> you have an you have an answer? Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, but when a woman uses steroids for personal training, her uh, clit grows massively. So we might not be able to fuck, but. We could, I don't know, dock. <laughs> He'll rip that shit off and put it on a necklace. <laughs> Bro, that's so gross. Oh my god, that's the dumbest thing I've ever said. That's so gross. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you. No. No, I looked over, I was like, there's an empty chair there. I was like, where'd she go? You were taking a shit, it's fine. It's fine, no one's gonna have a job. Oh, I'm embarrassing you. In front of everybody. Okay, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, Adam. You just got it. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I'm just fucking with you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure in the bathroom that I look good for you. That's it. You were just making sure in the bathroom that you look good for me? Yeah. Do a double take. <laughs> Can I tell you you look pretty just to make you feel better? First of all, you never need a man to tell you you look beautiful. So no. No, you, you look great. You look great. You. Yes, I mean it. We're just like we're gonna meet out in the back. No. No. 
I love you too. You're very sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, I wish you would love listening to me. You look so good. One of us has to. I'm kidding. You guys can't see on that side of the room. She, she is very beautiful. Is she your birthday? That explains it. How old are you turning? 21. That explains it. Would you like the wrist, man? Love it. Come here. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, it sounds like if, he should, if he's fucking anybody, he should be the mother of his child, no? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you're breaking up a family. <laughs> he's still in his house with his wife and his baby. The audacity of this man to live happily ever after. He doesn't fuck with her? No, he said he don't fuck with her, but he's lying. I think he's lying. Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. <laughs> I mean, maybe he, should be da he shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Uh, what, four months. Four months? <laughs> That's tough. That's, that, this, you know what, this is a little too early to be having this many red flags, to be honest. Like, this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So I, my best advice would be to either, I'd say, break up with them or also get pregnant. Play this bitch's game, okay? He was FaceTiming her the other day, and she was breastfeeding at the same time. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> How are they? Yeah, it sounds like you do something very well that she doesn't. Like raise her child? <laughs> Maybe you might be you might be the best mom for this situation. I don't know. Man, this is the coolest episode of Dr. Phil I've ever been on. <laughs> this shit is all over the place. By the way, this isn't normally how this crowd work goes. Usually someone will be like, ah, you know, they have I don't know, they have fucking they wear flip-flops or something silly, but y'all like, no, my life is in pieces. Can I ever be married? Just out here. Widowed? Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. How, how long ago? Don't mind me asking. One year? Fuck, oh, that's so recent. So you back on the market or what? <laughs> Can I ask how old you are? She did this. That's how old. <laughs> Turn me up. Yes, ma'am. I've never called a woman ma'am. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, age. 69? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. You're fantastic. I love, I love you're able to like laugh off these guys. This pot's fucking Shut up. I'm taking it. Hey, you know, this will be the last thing I brought you up. Can I, can I ask how? Or what from? Breathing problem, a lot of oxygen, or maybe you took his breath away. Murder. You guys 
Hey, her in the back. She said, I would love to fuck you, but... <laughs> No, no, she, she, it's very beautiful, actually. She said when her husband was in the hospital, he was telling the doctors, like, no, this is all her fault, because she took my breath away. Aww. That's so sweet. How do you get your name? My name yes, ma'am. What is it? Sherry. Sherry. That's old as fuck. That's <laughs> God damn. You must have been the one Frankie Valley was singing about. Uh, 16 years ago. 